This month, all the talk uh, in the industry has really been about uh, Domo's impending IPO. And uh, for those that you haven't heard about Domo, uh, it is probably the most overhyped uh, and marketed BI uh, software in the industry. Uh, uh, Josh James has spent an enormous amount of money on marketing, on Domo Palooza, etc. And where we are today is that you know, $800 million later in terms of funding, um, they're finally running out of money and uh, are looking to an IPO to raise enough to survive for another year. And um, what's I think is really interesting about this in particular is we, if we, for this organization in particular, you know, because of all the hype and, and the misinformation that's occurred about it, you know, people are intensely interested in what does Domo really look like? And I think the IPO has lifted the lid on that and everyone's really seen the metrics and what looks like a complete train wreck of a business uh, underneath that. And so you look at the level of spending, which is, is more than $800 million to date, to generate $100 million in uh, recurring revenue, uh, but with a sales and marketing spend that is 1.5 times its annual recurring revenue. So it's not a sustainable business. It doesn't have the growth uh, at really around 30% to, to, to justify the dollars that have been spent to, to generate that revenue. And, and ultimately, I think apart from the general schadenfreude in the industry to say, aha, there it really is, I think when we look at it, the underlying story is actually quite tragic. There's a lot of people that are gonna be hurt in this. There's all the investors have put their money in at a $2 billion valuation, which is now shrunk to 500 million. Uh, you've got uh, the industry as a whole, which is going to be tainted by this type of marketing and the perceptions that people will have of software vendors. And lastly, most importantly, Domo employs a lot of people who right now would be looking at these numbers and seeing the business for the first time in, its, in transparency and would probably be really worried about the organisation they work for and the future and security of their jobs. And so I think ultimately it's a really quite a tragic story.